Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And today I'm unboxing a really cool portable SSD. Uh, this is the My Passport SSD from Western Digital. This is an NVMe PCIe Express based portable SSD. Uh, this particular model is a one terabyte uh, variant. Uh, let's see, speeds up to 1050 megabytes per second. Very cool. Uh, shock resistant, password protection, so you can encrypt this drive. Um, backup, and it has a five year warranty, which is pretty cool. Let's see, contents. You have the portable SSD itself, obviously, which uses the USB 3.2 Gen 2 interface, so it's nice and fast. Uh, comes with a USB-C cable with a USB-A adapter. Um, Western Digital Discovery software for backup and password protection. Uh, it says internet act, uh, activation required. Quick install guide. And it says compatible with Windows 10 and 8.1, as well as Mac OS Catalina, Mojave, or High Sierra. Now this drive should also work with Linux, but the software that it comes with is not likely to be uh, Linux compatible. Um, so the cool encryption and backup software will not work with Linux, but the drive will work. It will be a perfectly working drive. Um, so this uses 256-bit AES hardware encryption. And what I really like about this drive in particular is just kind of how beautiful it is. It's a very, um, very nicely designed SSD. If you see it here, um, you can kind of see from the picture, it has these like ridges. And believe it or not, the box, I don't know if the box can really show it, but the box has the ridges like on it, so you can kind of feel it. Really nice packaging. Um, has this in the top, so it's meant to hang in like a Staples or a Best Buy on like a rack. Um, it is taped shut, so I get to use my cool knife and open it up. So let's see here. Let's cut into that there. Did I cut it? Just cut the tape. I will then close the knife so I don't cut myself. And let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So inside we have this, so we'll get rid of the box. So we have the drive itself, which I'm just gonna put to the side. We have an instruction manual. Let's see, what does it say here? It shows you how to plug it into a computer. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Wow, this is a huge piece of paper. For a drive. Wow, tons of languages here. Holy crud, look at this. I just zoom out of it here. Huge, huge paper just for different languages. Um, seems a bit excessive for a drive. I mean, I'm not even gonna fold that up. I'm just gonna, oh, as I knock over my bottle of Perrier, which had a cap on it, thank goodness. So inside, besides the drive, we have, let's see. This is really nice. So we have a USB-C to USB-C cable, as well as an adapter. So I like this, but some, some drives will come with two cables. Um, it'll have a USB to USB-C cable like so, and then a USB-C to USB-A adapt um, cable, like two separate cables. This instead uses an adapter. Um, so this would plug into the end of the USB-C. And now you have a um, way to plug in this drive into a computer that only has USB type A and not USB type C. You could also, let's say your computer does have USB C, you can use this cable. This will also, in theory, I mean, this will just, you can leave this plugged into USB type A port in your computer, and now you have a USB type C port. So if your computer doesn't have type C, now it does if you just use this adapter. That's kind of cool. So let's look at the drive itself. So on the front, we see Western Digital, and this one is, I guess, let me see, does it actually mention the color name here? I believe it comes in a few different colors. This, I guess, is just, I, I wanna say like graphite or silver. Uh, let's see, does it list the color? It doesn't list the color on it, does it? Let's look at the bottom here. Does it say, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't see a color listed, but I believe it comes in like red and white and a bunch of different colors. But I think this is the first color out to market. The other colors aren't available yet. But let's take a look at this. So on the bottom, we have the USB Type-C um, port. So that would plug in. Let's use the actual plug here. Plug that in like so. 
and then this would plug into your computer. Now this would be a MacBook Pro, it would be a Windows machine, it'd be a Linux machine, whatever. Um, and then if your computer didn't have USB Type-C, you'd plug in this, and then you'd plug this into your Type-A computer. Besides that, we don't really see too much. There is a seam around the sides. Um, it feels like it's cold, it's cold to the touch, so it feels like it might be like aluminum, I'm not sure the exact metal type, but it does feel that way. Uh, but there is a seam, so it's not a solid piece. You can see there's two pieces that are put together. So inside of this drive is a PCI Express M.2 drive, I'm assuming, the same you would put in a laptop or desktop, but it's in this enclosure by Western Digital. And it's just a really beautiful enclosure. This is not just a printed thing. Like, let me see if I can, like, listen to this. You hear that? There's actual ridges there. So it's just, it's just this really beautiful design. Look when the light hits that. So we have the Western Digital. The Western Digital logo, believe it or not, is not engraved on there. It's kind of like a, I don't know if it's a sticker. Yeah, it looks like a, like, a, like a metallic sticker that is on the top. So if you look, it kind of jets out a little bit. So that sticks out. So it has have a kind of a rough feel here, but that's the Western Digital logo on there sides, the top. As far as I can tell, and I could be wrong, I don't know if there's an LED here or not because I don't see any hole for it, which wouldn't be the end of the world, but let's see. And what kind of logos do we have here? FCC and all that nonsense. Uh, product of China, you have the serial number. This is the My Passport SSD. Model number is WDBAG. F0010, is that B? I'm trying to make sure that, uh, BSL, BSL, and that's the one terabyte variance. I believe it also comes in two terabytes, I could be wrong, and maybe a half gig, a half terabyte rather. Um, and that same ridge, the ridges kind of go here as well. Very, very beautiful drive. So one terabyte of super fast storage that you can plug into your laptop, your desktop, then slip this into a shirt pocket. Uh, you can put this into your bag. Um, and the cool thing is, is that if you do use Windows or Mac, um, you can use the encryption software to encrypt this drive. So let's say you did have some sensitive information on this. Let's say you're traveling for business. You have sensitive information you don't want to put into the cloud. You want to travel with it, lo you know, with local storage. Um, maybe you want to work on something, but you can't put it in the cloud because for whatever reason, you're working for the government. Um, you are working for a business that just, you know, has sensitive documents that you can't put in the cloud. Um, you encrypt this, and if you do lose it, God forbid, the theory is that if someone finds it and tries to access it, they could not without your password. So it's password-based. Uh, it is hardware-based, 256-bit encryption. Um, there's no biometrics or anything, so it's all relying on a password. All right, so that's just the unboxing, folks. So uh, if you have any questions about this drive, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, for scale, do I have anything for scale that I can show here? Again, I mean, here is the USB. So if you know this, like what a USB Type A is, that's it compared. I mean, it's a very, very small drive. Very, very small, very, very thin. I think it looks wonderful. And I'm gonna go plug this into my machine now and give it a go. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.